Now on to our other big story this morning that's impacting thousands of families right here in Connecticut. Yesterday, Pratt & Whitney announced another round of layoffs as part of its parent company's plans to slash 15,000 jobs. Channel 3's Roger Suzanne joined us now. And Roger, we know unfortunately that these latest cuts are going to hit a little too close to home, huh? Yeah, it really is true, Nicole. Really a sad situation here. Pratt & Whitney announced yesterday that 450 Connecticut positions are being eliminated, at least 450 positions, and many of them are coming from right here in East Hartford. Now, the cuts are necessary, the company says, because of our state's and our nation's sluggish economy because of the coronavirus. But really, at this point, the really difficult thing is that at this point, it's hard to say when brighter days will return. So let's get right into the sad details here. Again, Pratt & Whitney announced that 450 jobs will be slashed from their jet engine plants in East Hartford along with Middletown. And the move is part of the massive downsizing by their parent company, Raytheon Technology. Raytheon announced they'll cut 15,000 jobs worldwide because of the COVID-19 crisis. Now, the pandemic, of course, has led to a gigantic drop in air travel, and experts warn these layoffs could just be the beginning of difficult times for aerospace companies like Pratt & Whitney. Quinnipiac University international business professor Mohammed Alahi says the federal government needs to help. He says the Defense Department should award more of the contracts now that had planned for the future, and lawmakers need to pass another COVID stimulus bill in order to speed up our economy's recovery. Even if COVID by any miracle disappears tomorrow, still we will suffer from the fallout for another 12 to 18 months. And by the way, I mentioned that at least 450 jobs will be lost here in Connecticut. And the reason I say that it's a minimum is that Raytheon at this point has not said how many of those 15,000 jobs worldwide will come from our state. Coming up in the next half an hour, we're going to talk with East Hartford's mayor about how these cuts are impacting this community and the entire state. Reporting live in East Hartford, I'm Roger Suzanne, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right.